welcome to this tutorial where I'll be guiding you how to install ZSH, oh my ZSH, and Power Level 10K on the WSL2. So let's get started. Firstly, let's install ZSH. By typing in sudo app get install zsh-y that's why meaning that you agree that you want it to be installed instead of having to go through the process of questioning you do you want this to be installed of course i do all right after that's installed let's go towards the oh my zsh Oh uh, my ZSH, copy this link via curl. If you don't have curl installed, do super app get install curl and that'll fix it. Paste it in. Yes, for your default. It has, it's asking you, do you want you to change your default shell to be uh, ZSH? And you want to press this yes, put in your password. All right, great. Now you have ZSH, all my ZSH installed. Now that you have it installed, let's make sure it's working by closing and opening it again. There you go, you have it installed. Now if you wanna change the design on this, right the font the theme you go to themes and these are all the themes right here uh like agnoster it has this type of theme going on uh a fowler af magic so on and so forth i usually stick to the ruby russell just to keep it simple because it's pretty clean but given that i want to have that power level 10k look theme let's head over and continue but in case if you do want to make any changes and you don't want to go for the power level 10k instead you want to go with one of these themes that's well, what you do is you grab let's say for instance clean right you know what let's do af magic right you take af magic in order to make the changes on your uh z oh my zsh theme what you do is you go to nano dot zsh rc and then where it says Ruby Russell, you want to change this to the desired theme. In my case, it's going to be AF Magic. Now, what you do is to save, you press uh, Control X to exit and then yes to modify. And then press enter. Now you close it. Open it again. And there you have, the theme has changed. Now, once that's done, let's head over and install Power Level 10K. So to begin, let's go to nerdfonts.com. This is where you download the fonts for the shell to recognize its symbols. So let's go to downloads. Now, again, uh, another flavor of designs of themes that you want to be using i am gonna go with the jet brains font given that it's one of the most it's like it's more it's more aesthetically pleasing um so i'm just gonna download this once it's installed go to your directory right extract it all and just run through and install all that you have here what you would do is in this case uh in windows you just control all obviously this is a windows install control 
A to control all, select all, right click and install. And they don't install all of the fonts for you automatically instead of having to go through each and every one of them to install. And of course, the last one that is, uh, it's just only a text. It's just the instructions on how to utilize the, the fonts and stuff like that. Another readme. All set. Now that that's already installed. All right. Before even setting the fonts, I just want to show the purpose of this. Uh, so let's go search for ZSH power level 10K. Click on this get link, scroll down, and click manual, and yeah. So after clicking manual, you want to go to all my ZSH and click and copy this link here. And now let's head back to the shell. Let's paste this, enter. After that's done, now let's head back, let's do nano. Nano, Z-S-H-R-C. And for the theme, let's put in power level 10K forward slash power level 10K. All right, let's exit. And save, yes, control X and yes. Now that's that one that's settled. You close it. Open it again. And now it's gonna go through the process of asking you these questions. Like let's say for instance, uh, like, does this look like a diamond to you? It's just to let you know, just to see where your fonts is just to make sure that you you're not missing the fonts that you're looking for or just making sure that's not missing the symbols that it needs does this look like a lock that does not look like a lock i'm gonna put no does this look like a lock i'm gonna press no and you know what i'm just gonna quit because again it's already not showcasing the symbols that i'm looking for so therefore i'm gonna set up the settings on the shell on the power shell not on the shell the Windows terminal shell um, to identify and know these symbols by setting the nerd font theme that you've selected. In my case, I'm going to go and click the bottom arrow here above the tab. Uh, settings. Go to uh, Ubuntu and then Appearance. Change the font fins to JetBrains fonts, and that'll do it. Click save. Now, if I close this, close, close all, you can just close the tab and open the partial again. So, it's gonna ask you uh, if it does look like a diamond. Yes. Does it look like a lock? Yes. Does it look like an up bar, upwards arrow? Yes. Uh, is, what digits is the downwards arrow pointing at? Number one. So you press one. Um, uh, do all these icons fit between the crosses? They all do. They're little. They're a little too close to each other. Yeah, I would say no because some icons overlap neighboring crosses, uh, which is like the last four. And now you're gonna select whatever theme or design you want it to be. I'm gonna do classic on two. Uh, I'm gonna select Unicode. You can select whatever tone you want. I'm gonna select two, which is light. I'll go with dark actually. And you can select the hour format. Uh, I'm gonna select the 12 hour format. Now you could select whatever, you know, the divider of the source to the master slash. I'm gonna select the angled one. So that angled one? No, I'm gonna go with slanted actually. 
And now the ending, the head part, uh, I think I'm going to go with the slanted. And the tail, I'm going to go with the round one. Given that the slanted is a little broken. So some of them um, sometimes will come out a little bit broken when it comes to the, uh, uh, the, the symbols, which is, you know, the design on it. It doesn't always come out accurate at times. So given that slanted seems a little off, I'm just going to go with the round one. I've always used round, to be honest. Um, I'll go with a one liner. And I'll go with sparse just to give it some space between every input for a better reliability. And if you want to make it look cute, just go with a lot of icons. I'm, I mean, I'm just going to go for the aesthetics here. I'll go with a lot of icons and I'll be concise. I don't want it to be too fluent because it's going to add too much jargon that it's not necessary. Like took five seconds to load type of thing. So I'm just going to go with concise. And every time you make an input or a request, a command, would you rather it to once you press enter for the whole directory location, the branch and so on and so forth of that line to, do you want it to vanish or you want to just to showcase the, the entire thing? So I'd rather see like the whole directory location uh, whenever I make the inputs. So I could backtrack and be like, okay, this is where, you don't need a backtrack, but just in case, I'd rather keep more detail, the better. So I'm gonna stick with no. I want it to be a uh, non-transient. And you want to keep it verbose. Apply to DSH, yes. And there you have it. Now you have properly installed the DSH, oh my DSH, with the theme of Power Level 10K on your WSL2 Ubuntu operating system in your bash. So if you want, you can just close it, open it again. And there you go. You have it. So do I get the typical updates? Oh, that, I'm putting in a password that is not necessary. All right, well, thank you for watching. If you have any questions, write it down in the comments. Subscribe for more content like this. Click the notification button. Hit that like button to support me. I would appreciate it. And also click here if you'd like to see another video. And uh, see you next time. Peace.